Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be talking about the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Um, I have not even opened this yet because I really wanted to show uh, my first impressions on here. So I'm super excited. Uh, I know in my last video I literally said, I don't know if I'm going to buy this because it's expensive, but um, my mom very graciously uh, said she would buy it for me um, in honor of me starting my YouTube and all that jazz. So the other day on, I think it was June 12th, they had a pre-sale basically where you can go on the Urban Decay website and purchase one of these, um, but if you didn't get a chance to get it there or then, uh, don't worry because it will be back. June 30th I believe and in stores maybe like a couple days after that but yeah so let's open this up I'm so excited I literally still have the tape on here because I wanted to film my first reaction um, from this so let's see if I could open it the packaging is super nice you know so far it is the um, like cardboard slip Thing. Okay, so a little bit about the palette before I actually open it up. Um, on the back it says, Naked heats up, get lit with 12 all new, can't live without amber hued neutrals, including warm browns, burnt oranges, and rich siennas. From a super smooth red brown matte and a glimmering copper to a deep shifty bronze, this palette has everything you need to create sultry daytime looks, intensely smoky nighttime looks, and everything in between. Um, so, like I said, it's 12 all new shadows. None of these have been um, in the Urban Decay collections before, um, either as single eyeshadows or in a palette. So, that's super exciting. Um, I know the like bronzy reds are really in for summer, so we'll see if this will be something um, that you're interested in. Uh, it retails for $54, um, which I guess is kind of up there, but. Hopefully it will be worth it. I mean all of the other naked palettes are amazing So hopefully by the end of this video if you were on the fence You'll know whether or not you want to purchase this guy. I'm gonna eh, It almost fell out <laughs> That would have been bad if I broke it. Um, so in today's video I'm gonna do swatches of each of the 12 shades and then also do an eye look so if you're interested in seeing swatches from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and an eye look using them, just keep on watching. So I'm just gonna push this little guy out of this sleeve, put that over there. And, oh wait, and then it comes out of this guy. Oh wow, that's so cool. So in here, I guess cause you know it's all like fire themed, in here are a bunch of uh, match sticks and, well, like not actual ones like it's cardboard, but um, that's super cool because it's all like fire themed Oh wow, and on the back are these like burnt roses. That's like super cool packaging. I will say I mean it's it's cardboard So it's not the most sturdy thing, but um, you know it, Like most people are gonna throw this out anyway, so, um, so I'm just gonna Stick that over there. So the actual palette is like this it's um, plastic and it's much sturdier than the ones that I have in one of my previous videos actually it was my previous video in my previous video I used the original naked palette and that one is more um, felt and it just kind of opens and then I believe the second and third ones are more like a tin material I really like this packaging the the letters are kind of raised like mm, you'll be able to tell. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Oh, there's my reflection. That is the front. And then, da 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 da, -da drum roll. Ta-da, look. Oh, look at that, look how pretty. Oh my God, these are such beautiful colors. Like I don't even wanna touch them because it looks so pretty in the palette, but um, I'm obviously gonna use it. It comes with this really large mirror, uh, which is super useful. Let's take the little cover off so I can actually see. Okay. Um, I'll pick that up later. Like the other 
naked palettes. It also comes with this brush. It's double sided. One end is um, like a flat shader uh, brush and then the other is a more dense like blending brush so very useful these brushes are always um super nice and then in the middle it says naked heat mm, yep there you go okay it looks like a really good range of colors that you can use um, either all over your lid or in your crease shade or to darken them up a little bit um, but just to see like what the payoff is like I'm gonna swatch them with my finger on my arm so I just swatched all the shades in the palette most of them swatched really well I was very impressed some of the matte shades didn't have as much of a color payoff but um, I think if you work with them a little bit um, you should be fine but I'm gonna put it to the test so um, here are all of the swatches Hopefully you could see from my swatches that the metallic shades are so, so beautiful. They're so pigmented. Um, I think that my favorite has to be Scorched. I'm sure that'll be a lot of people's favorites. I also really like Lumber. As for the mattes, I think I'm really going to like using Infuego and Ashes, which are these two darker ones. Um, the swatches weren't the best but I really do like the colors and the undertones in those, so I think that I'm gonna end up, being, end up using those a lot. Oh, also I thought it was funny that the, um, the two lightest colors, Ounce and Chaser, these two up here, um, they barely show up on my skin because I'm so pale, but um, it's good because that first matte shade I can just put all over the lid and then the shimmer one I can use as my brow bone highlight so I think those will also be very useful. So now that you've seen the swatches, if you want to see a look uh, using these shadows then just keep watching. Okay, now that you're closer. Um, so I've already uh, done all my face makeup. Um, everything that I have on my face right now will be in the description box below so if you want to know what I'm wearing you can look there um, and then obviously for the eyes I will be using all shades from the Urban Decay Naked Palette so today's look is going to be pretty simple I just want to try to use as many colors as I can from this palette just to give you guys an idea of how they work um, and whether I think um, it's worth the purchase I've already primed no wait no I didn't I'm gonna prime my eyelids. Okay, now I prime my eyelids. I'm just gonna go in with this second shade. Um, it's called Chaser. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid as a base. Oh, and I'm using the Crown Brush number AC012, the fluffy side. Using the brush that comes in the palette, I'm going to use um, this side, the denser side, to put a color in my crease. And so for that, I'm going to use this third one in called Sauce. Whoa, that comes up super pigmented. So now that I've put that into the crease, I'm going to take another color and kind of do the same thing just to deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this one down here called Cayenne. Now that I have Sauced and Cayenne uh, buffed into my crease, I'm going to go into what I think is going to be my favorite shade in this palette, um, which is Scorched, this metallic one right there. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. And I'm going to use the other side of the brush that comes in this palette. I'm gonna go 
back into the first crease shade we used, uh, Sauced, and I'm just gonna put that back into the crease to blend out any of the harsh lines. I'm gonna go in with this brush by Luxie. It's the 215 Small Angle Brush, and I'm gonna use the shade on the bottom called Ashes. It's like this um, gray, well I guess Ashes is like the perfect name for it because it re literally looks like Ashes. It's like this grayish brownie red, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but I'm just gonna take a bit of that and put it right on the outer V's of my eyes just to darken up the look a little bit. Using um, a little, a tiny bit bigger brush. This is the Morphe E36. It's um, more of like a detail brush. I'm gonna go in with the darkest metallic shade, the last one on the bottom called Ember, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing in the outer corners. I'm gonna go back into Sauce one more time to blend out the crease again. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more of Scorched back on the lid just because some of it got uh, blended away with all the other colors and I just wanna make sure that that color really stands out. For the lower lash line, I'm going to do something pretty similar uh, using a Real Techniques shading brush. I'm going to go into Sauced again and just line my lower lash line with that. And then using that same Morphe E36 brush from before, I'm going to take Ember again, the bottom um, brown metallic shade, and put that on the outer um, V on the bottom lash line um, and just bring it a little bit more into the center but not all the way. Using the same brush I'm gonna go into He Devil. This one right in the middle it's like really pretty terracotta matte shade and I'm gonna use just a little bit because it looks super pigmented yeah, um, to just kind of put this in the middle and blend um, both of those colors together. Keep moving away, I'm sorry. And then using that first brush we used without adding any extra product, I'm just gonna blend it even more. I'm just gonna brighten up underneath the brow. I'm gonna use, uh, first I'm gonna use Chaser, the second one and just kind of put that all over to make sure there's no harsh lines at the top of uh, the eyeshadow and also just to brighten up there a little bit. Sorry, the sun keeps going out. And using the other side of this brush, um, this was the crown brush, it, the, what? this was the crown brush um, and it's like a perfect little highlighter. Uh, perfect little brow bone highlighter brush. I'm going in with the first shade in the palette called Ounce and I'm just gonna highlight right here. And using that same shade I'm gonna highlight uh, my inner corner. Okay, so that pretty much finishes up the eye look. Um, I'm going to go put on some liner, mascara, and a lip product, and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. And I'm back. This is it. This is the eye look that I came up with using the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Here is a close-up. And once again, I will have all of the other products that I used on my face in the um, description box below. Um, as for final thoughts, I really enjoyed this palette. I was pretty impressed. I think that um, I'm not one to normally go for the 
reds and the um I mean I do use bronze colors but I feel like I'm more of a cool turn cool toned kind of girl uh, especially with my hair right now I don't know how well the reds would go with the purple but I was pleasantly surprised I really like the way that this came out I think that I'm gonna be using this a lot um, in the summer the shades that I had swatched uh, in the beginning that I wasn't sure how they were going to come out on the eye it worked very well there weren't any that I really think I uh, have any complaints about. The only shade, I mean this could just be because of my skin tone, um, but the only shade that was a little disappointing that out of the ones that I had used, um, at least personally for me, was this first one called Ounce. Um, so that was the one that I used to highlight my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes. And I mean, it's a highlight, but I don't know, I would normally go for something a little bit more bright, and so like I said, that could totally have to do with my fair skin, maybe on somebody else it would show up better, and it's nothing that I can't work with or that I can't um, look past or anything like that. So overall, I definitely think that if you're into the warm, bronzy, red, orangey shades then this palette is definitely for you this brush is great as well you wouldn't really need um, too many other brushes if you have this one um, and you're traveling so uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching um, if you have any request of videos that you'd like me to do please comment those down below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and i will see you guys in my next one bye